Fiery Server Control is automatically installed when you install the Fiery XF7 server. Fiery Server Control, like Fiery XF Server, can only be installed on a compatible Microsoft Windows computer and will only be available on the computer that your Fiery XF server is installed on, such as a Fiery Pro server. You will find the icon used to open the Fiery Server Control window automatically pinned to the Windows taskbar. You can also click on the Windows Start button, scroll down to the Fiery section, maximize it, and locate and click on the Fiery Server Control listing to launch it. If you right click on it, you will be able to pin it to the Start menu or to the taskbar. Looking at the icon as it appears in the taskbar, you will see a small green icon overlaying the Fiery Server Control icon itself. The green icon shows that the Fiery Server service is currently running. Right clicking on the icon will open a pop up window providing you quick access to all of the available options. You can also click on this icon to open the Fiery Server Control window. The Fiery Server Control window is subdivided into several sections. At the top are the buttons used to start, stop, and restart the Fiery Server. Below this is a section for performing updates, then a section where you can configure your system, a section for managing your product licenses, and at the bottom, a checkbox, which, if it is selected, will ensure that Fiery Server Control will start automatically when Windows starts. If this box is cleared, you will need to manually start Fiery Server Control from the Start menu. You should note that if Fiery Server Control is not launched, it does not mean that Fiery Server itself will not start or run. The two are independent of each other. Returning to the top of the Fiery Server Control window, you will see that there are three icons available. The green icon is lighter than the red and the blue icon, indicating that it is currently unavailable. The green icon is used to start the Fiery Server service. Because the server service is currently running, there is no need to start it, and the green icon is unavailable. The red icon is used to stop the server service, while the blue icon is used to restart, meaning stop and then start the server service. Depending upon your specific computer, when you click on the red icon, you may get a warning message asking if you want to allow the application to make changes to the device. If you do, click Yes to proceed. I'll click on the red icon. The server is now stopping, and when it is stopped, you will see that we have an indication at the top of the window stating that the Fiery server was successfully stopped, and if you examine the icon in the taskbar, you will see that there is now a red icon overlaying the Fiery Server Control icon to show you that the server service is not running and no jobs will be able to be processed. At the top of the window, you will see that now the red stop and the blue restart icons are unavailable and only the green start icon is available. I will click on the green icon in order to start the Fiery Server service. If a warning message appears, click Yes. You will see the progress of the starting or the stopping process in the background of the Fiery Server Control icon in the Windows taskbar and also as a status bar in the top portion of the Fiery Server Control window. A statement will appear at the top of the window indicating that the Fiery Server was successfully started. The green icon is again lighter than the stop and restart icons. And in the taskbar, the green icon once again overlays the Fiery Server Control icon, and you will now be able to process jobs.